Good afternoon, everybody, in my American Literature course. And this video has taken me a while to get to. Um, we still have students registering in the course today, August 28th, on Friday. And uh, I have extended due dates in case you're wondering why due dates have changed. Um, it's because I'm trying to accommodate everybody to, that is trying to get into online courses during a pandemic. So things are different this semester. Do not think this is a typical semester for University of Texas Permian Basin. And I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Dr. Myra Tatum Salcedo. If you are a Spanish speaker, my name is Salcedo. Nobody will say that. Salcedo is fine. And if you're texting, it's Salcedo. Yeah, I answered all of it, so it's fine. Uh, just call me professor if you want and don't try to say my last name. But um, I am uh, going through this course that was created by a collaboration of teachers, which is a good thing when we get good minds together to create things. And sometimes um, there are, are issues, for example, the quizzes. I did not create the quizzes. And already with our first quiz, I have some outstanding students, about four, who got a 33 on their quiz. Well, I barely passed it. And I'm just saying that don't worry about the quizzes. Do not sweat the lecture quizzes. They are a small percentage of your grade. And I am going into each quiz watching them since they have changed over the summer in the last few weeks since I last watched them. And if I think a question did not get answered really well during the lecture or in your readings, um, or if the question is ambiguous, it has more than possibly more than one answer. I am taking that into consideration. And some students have written to me about the first quiz on uh, Christopher Columbus and the beginnings. Uh, when people first arrived, arrived to uh, what is now America, we had Native Americans. We also had in the southern portions uh, Aztecs, um, Mestizos, and um, you know people that conducted sacrifices and things like that. And there's a question: Were um, Native Americans always violent or not always violent? Something to that extent, and it's most subjective. So there's not one correct answer to that question. I'm taking that into consideration. Some of you may have noticed that I am already adding points to your quiz scores. You know, I felt I will do this when I feel like if you can make a case for a question, why you agree or disagree with it, and back it up with support, I will reconsider the questions and the quizzes. Do not sweat the quizzes. Um, they are not cut and dried, cut in stone. They only are a small portion of your grade. Your writing is what is going to be huge. Uh, writing papers and um, it's tough. But at the sophomore level, it's expected that you will have a nodding acquaintance, if not some 
expertise in modern language association style. If that is new to you, don't worry about it. I have things in the course that I will help you with. And I think everybody is posting, if I am not incorrect in this course, times that you are available for live conferences so we can have video conferences like Zoom. And I will also conduct individual conferences if you can only do it by phone, that is fine. Audio is fine. If you can do it by FaceTime, better. I think it's nice to put a face with a name. And if you can come in on the Canvas live uh, video conference, conferences, that's great because uh, we'll have video, audio, and chat boxes for people that might not have microphones or webcams or what have you, but there will be a way to include everybody. And there are 34 students in my class today. With That's a lot of students. Think about it. I mean, if you um, write a five page paper times 34, you know, five minute videos times 34 and I have more than 100 students for online classes, but we cannot lose the personal experience that you would have during a face-to-face -face in the classroom experience environment because um, I need to get, get to know everybody, each one of you, and help you where you're at and provide what you need, lessons that you need. And that's why I'm coming on right now. I want to say, do not stress. Do not stress about the quizzes. They're negotiable. It's not, you got three questions, you miss one, you get a 66. You miss two, you get a 33. You fail if you miss a question. No, um, that is not my philosophy of teaching. And especially when some questions can be open-ended. If you read the works, you watch the lectures, and um, you bring in critical thinking and analysis, you might find different answers. As long as you can justify those answers, you are in great shape. And literature, in my opinion, uh, does not have singular answers ever. Poetry, oh my gosh, literature, symbolism, you can read all kinds of symbols and things into the works. And as long as you make a great case for it, I am with you. So go ahead and take the quizzes. If you get a low score, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I am taking uh, quizzes along with you. Uh, what you need to worry about is uh, posting when you're available for me to meet with you live. What you need to worry about is when you are in discussion boards to respond to other people. You don't just post your thoughts. You have to go back in, in the discussion boards and respond to several other people. Each board will tell you how many people and you can't um, just say, hey, yeah, great. Looking forward to see what you're writing again. Great, bro. I'm out of here. No, you have to engage with what they say and say, I hear you. This is what you said, and this is why I agree or do not agree with you. And this is maybe where we can meet in the middle. Something like that. You should respond uh, in a paragraph to each person. Okay, thoughtful questions. 
after you listen to a lecture, do the readings, uh, you need to pose a thoughtful question. That would not be a question that could be answered by yes or no. Do you think this or that should have happened? Yeah, maybe. Uh, no, pose a question that is more complex so that people have to think about it, have to think about an answer. Ask, what would you feel like? And somebody already th did this. If you were on a ship with Christopher Columbus, how would you feel? What, how, why, when? Um, do not just answer something that is yes or no, and anybody can answer that with one word. So the thoughtful questions need to be more than that. And I will have different videos on each paper, Modern Language Association NLA style, which we will be using throughout the entire course, which is used in literature and languages, history, sociology. Um, if you're in nursing or engineering, you're going to have different technical professional writing styles. Uh, but this is what we're using for this course. And uh, this video is going on. Yeah, I try to wrap them up in 10 minutes because they take so long to scroll up. So I am in your course today, August 28th, on a Friday. I will be in your course this weekend. I'm going to catch people up. You will have noticed that due dates have changed. I have extended some dates. Some things were due yesterday, but I had a couple new students added to the course today. So obviously they couldn't do things yesterday. So I am extending due dates. What does that mean? That means don't slack off and don't say, I'm going to wait till the other people have due dates and do stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, this is a 16 week course. We do have a Thanksgiving break, but it, the sophomore online courses are very rigorous at the university level. This is not your usual course. It's not self-paced. What that means is you will have due dates, usually towards the end of the week, but every week you have to get a certain amount of things done. So go ahead, um, enter your ID so that I can authenticate those and put your points in for your ID. Go ahead and do the getting to know you um, discussion board. I would really like to know the cities that you live in right now. We have people from all over the country, including New York, you know, and uh, small towns in Texas, everywhere. Uh, I would like to know what your hometown is. Reason for this is um, a couple semesters ago, there was a tornado in Alaska, Texas. It leveled students' houses, a school, and more, and people were in a gymnasium, and they had no power, could not respond, and I knew exactly which students were where, when, and contacted the authorities to find out how they work. And I need to know how everybody is at all times. So if you get sick, uh, if something comes up and you're going to have to miss an assignment or something, tell me in advance as soon as you can if you're able. Do not wait until weeks later or later in the semester to say this happened, I was in the hospital. Get somebody to tell me sooner than later because I can extend the course, give you an incomplete grade if you have um, 
completed 75% of the course passing or at my discretion. So things will happen. These are challenging times, but I need everybody to hang in there and keep me posted. Uh, so I know what's going on with you and I will adjust things accordingly. I'm a nice teacher. Ask my granddaughter, uh, she's a freshman and can't take courses from me, but really I'm nice. I'm flexible and uh, I will work with everybody to see you succeed in this course. So I just want to allay any fears about the quizzes right now and some of the things coming up. Um, and this video has gone more than 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to shut her down because uh, I'm doing it on YouTube. It's going to take a while and I want you to have this as soon as possible. And I will be making more videos on the papers, on the assignments every week. But this is your introductory video that will also be placed in the announcements in case it doesn't show up great um, in your you can't connect greatly from Canvas email. So, welcome to the course. We are all in this together. You guys got this. Yeah. So, you can email me. You can text me. My phone number is there. Text before you call. Tell me your name, which course you're in. And I will get back to you because I'm in a lot of video conferences, phone calls, and meetings, even though I'm not in a physical classroom. So I am available and I want to see everybody cross the finish line together. So thank you, my longest video ever, and I will see you in the next video.